Hey guys, this is Chris from Empire Bricks and welcome to another LEGO Star Wars haul video. And it's a huge haul today, guys. I've got some really exciting stuff, some big boxes with big sets. Um, some more obvious stuff. So there is the magazine, of course, and a smaller envelope over there. And also a small announcement because um, I am nearing the end of my theme mock and I will not be you know, doing any more haul videos with parts. I'll just be uh, finishing it off. Um, I will be ordering some parts, but they'll just be not be in the haul video uh, and then make the finale video. I was planning to take it to um, a convention in Gorkum, the Netherlands in May, but that event has been uh, cancelled or at least it has been moved one week ahead, um, meaning that I will not be able to attend because I'll still be in Sweden at that time. Um, so I'm still figuring out what I'm going to do with the, um, especially for the Dutch people watching. Um, I would love to speak to you guys somewhere on a uh, convention. I think the first one that um, would be a good idea is the Brickfest um, event in Zutphe somewhere in June. So I'm hoping to enter my mock over there and um, just show it to people. And if you're in the neighborhood, I would love to talk to you and show it to you guys. So having said that, let's dive into this haul video. Starting off the most obvious, it's another LEGO Star Wars magazine. It's a newer one and it has a foil pack with the Imperial Shuttle Pilot. Um, not sure why it says limited edition though, because this is the same shuttle pilot that we have seen in the Krennix shuttle microfighter, I believe. Um, but still, I'll be um, uh, leaving this as closed and entering it in my poly bag and foil pack uh, collection. That is slowly but surely growing, and I think I'll be doing a video on that collection um, somewhere soon. Um, just to show you guys where I'm at and then do an update when um, it has grown a bit. So that's the LEGO Star Wars magazine. Moving on to the um, envelope over here. I didn't pre-open this one. Um, I have been expecting this for a few days. Um, and I'm really excited because this is a set that I have been wanting for a while now. Um, but most of the time it's like about 30 bucks. And this time it was 14. So one four, including shipping. Um, and... It is packed in bubble wrap, so I'll just um, try to cut it open. Um, but I'm really excited about the deal that I got. I finally add this to my collection, um, especially since it's a little bit of an older set. Uh, but here are the instructions, and it is the Sith Night Speeder. Now, there are several reasons why I wanted this set, um, but uh, most of all, it's because of the figures. Uh, because there's two Sith in here, uh, which I really like. I'm trying to build a Sith army. Um, I'm really uh, hoping to uh, get some more of those Sith Trooper versus Republic Trooper battle packs. Add all my Sith Troopers and uh, all my other Sith um, Masters and then create a Sith Army video. So, um, great uh, set. I'll be time-lapsing this, I think, and reviewing it and taking it to Sweden to my LEGO Star Wars room. Um, it is uh, complete, as far as I know. I have checked it on the picture, so... I'll be taking this apart and time-lapsing this somewhere next week. So that's the magazine and the envelope. And now we have two huge boxes. And I'm going to start with the largest box. But that kind of um, is a paradox because it holds the smallest of the two sets that I have um, gotten a deal on. But this is something that I, and I think many people with me, think is a set that belongs in any LEGO Star Wars collection. It's the ARC-170 Starfighter. I got a great deal on this one. Uh, I think it was about uh, 30 bucks for uh, the uh, Starfighter, so that's a great deal. I know there is a few pieces missing or in uh, the wrong colors, but I have checked they are not expensive, so I'll be replacing them. All the figures are here, um, and it's mostly intact, so I'm really happy to have this. And this will be part of me uh, mov moving my clone army to Sweden as well because of space issues. My Imperial Army and Droid Army are growing so fast that I basically don't have the room to keep all my sets here in the Netherlands um, and keep them built. And I'm growing tired of taking them apart and building them again. So, um, and this just simply, this belongs on display. That's that's plain and simple. Looking inside of the box, we can see that the set is um, sent to me while it was built. So you can actually see that it is mostly complete, although um, some of the pieces came off. So I just put some stuff back uh, where I thought it belonged, but I think it's, completely wrong uh, but um, I'll have to take it apart anyway and give it a good wash uh, first except for the parts with stickers if there are any because I believe that most of these parts are actually printed like uh, this one so um, that's a very good thing I'll be able to wash this and then uh, dry it 
and build it again. So extremely happy to finally have the ARC-170 Starfighter in my collection. Let's see if there's any missing parts over here. I'll be discarding the box and creating some room for something far, far more epic because um, in some recent videos, I have been opening up a an advent calendar um, with a micro build sand crawler and I said that I would like to have one of the bigger sand crawlers one day and then a deal came up that I couldn't pass on. It was just too amazing. So I bought the um, original trilogy edition sand crawler set 10144. Now this is a huge set. It has, I believe around 1600 pieces. So that's pretty big, uh, bigger than the uh, Star Destroyers, for example, uh, the first order Star Destroyer. It has a pretty uh, big amount of figures, although most of them are droids. Some are exclusive, so you can actually see Uncle Owen here. He is exclusive to this set. There is a lot of Jawas, which are um, not as common or not as rare anymore since we have the new battle pack, but these come with capes, which is unique to this set. There is some Astromech droids and other droids that are unique, and there is a Gonk droid over here that is uh, unique to this set. And so since they are printed pieces, they are very hard to get. Um, this set is in a very good condition, except for the fact that it is very dusty, as you can see. It has been on display, uh, but it's not sun damaged in any way. It's complete. It has been taken apart for me uh, by a great guy. So I'm really happy to add this, and I'll be building this and reviewing this as soon as possible. But you uh, can imagine that this is quite a set to build, and I don't have that much time. So it's going to take, I think, about a week or so, uh, maybe longer, to build it but you will be seeing a review somewhere in the coming weeks. So not many items, but some really, really awesome items. Um, I couldn't be more excited. Um, I'm working on more stuff, but for the time being, uh, thank you all for watching. If you did like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.